Finkelstein reaction. So this is the first video of the whole organic named reaction for grade 12 series. The first one we'll be learning about is Finkelstein reaction. So this is in the chapter 10, that's haloalkenes and haloarenes. So for every reaction, what we'll be doing is we'll be learning the reaction type and we'll be learning the reaction in words first and then the reaction itself and certain important points for each and every case. So first of all, this is a substitution reaction. So in this reaction, what happens is an alkyl halide reacts with sodium iodide to form alkyl iodide plus sodium halide. So as it's pretty obvious this is one of the reactions for the synthesis of an alkyl halide, specifically an alkyl iodide. So here the solvent used is going to be dry acetone. So first of all an alkyl halide reacts with sodium iodide in dry acetone to form alkyl iodide and sodium halide. So the reason word dry is important is because it does not have any molecules of water. And the reason this is important is because here our reactant is going to be Rx, okay, and NaI, where X is Cl or Br to give rise to Ri plus NaX. And so NaX can be either NaCl and Na or NaBr. So sodium chloride and sodium bromide are actually insoluble in dry acetone and that is what drives this reaction forward. So I mean for all you know this if NaCl or NaBr was soluble in the solvent this could go back to form our sodium iodide and the initial reactant the alkyl halide right but we want Rx. So what happens is in our solvent dry acetone only Rx and these two reactants will remain while NaCl and NaBr will be insoluble in dry acetone. That's a very important thing in Finkelstein reaction. So the whole reason the reaction moves forward is because of the fact that sodium chloride and sodium bromide are insoluble in dry acetone. So examples CH3, CH2, Br which is bromo methane ethane 2. So bromo ethane with NaI forms CH3 CH2I which is iodoethane plus NaBr or CH3 CH2 Cl reacts with sodium iodide to form CH3 CH2I again plus Na Cl. So sodium chloride and sodium bromide are basically sodium halides, right? So here one halogen atom is getting replaced by an other halogen atom. So that's why this is a substitution reaction. One iodine is replacing the chlorine atom to form the alkyl iodide. Um, is there anything else there? Okay, so in this reaction, Finkelstein's reaction, to sum up, an alkyl halide reacts with sodium iodide in dry acetone to form alkyl iodide plus sodium halide. The reason we are using dry acetone is because the sodium halides formed, that is sodium chloride and bromide, are insoluble in dry acetone. And this is what drives the reaction forward. We do not put a backward arrow. So if it was soluble, there's a chance that it could have gone backward. And that is not something that we want. And this leads to the and this reaction is actually used for the synthesis of alkyl iodides. In the next video, we will be discussing about Swartz reaction.